Well, good afternoon, everybody. Here we are again at HQ. A little bit dark outside, but doesn't matter in here. It's all nice and cosy. Lots of things going on. Uh, just before we start the tower, something exciting just to do a quick flick and show. <gasps> Look at this. Yes, there's a new book coming, and it's <gasps> this is the first one actually that's been printed, cut, punched, and literally the first one. So it's still it's still warm. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to sort of come in here and I'm going to sign it. And let's just put a happy tangling. And then what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to put it on the shelf. It's going to get mixed up with all the other ones. So somebody, eventually, when we uh, put these on sale, which will be the 21st of February, uh, they'll uh, they'll be getting that one so there we go don't know who's going to do it because we're just going to mix it up but there it is i'm not going to show you anything else i'm going to give it to tommy now to take away it's mine uh, <laughs> tommy's like he's having it yeah, it'll be on e ebay in the next 20 minutes and he and dobby are going to share the proceeds so that's what he's just told me anyway so okay what are we doing today then all right uh, tile 318 you see i've got a dark tile uh, it's a darker grey. You could use black if you want, whatever colour you want to do. But what I'm using is I'm going to use my white gel pen. Uh, I've got an 08 there. And sometimes I've got an 05. There we go. But I sometimes think that the 08s run better than the 05s. But I, I don't know. Whatever you want to use, you don't have to go with a, a dark tile. But sometimes it's nice to do it, isn't it? It's nice to use one. So let's, uh, let's make a start then. I'm going to come straight in with uh, my pen and of course you always need to just check i have checked it work because i've done that but just sort of check it runs because sometimes you know on the end it starts to dries up a bit so clear it off but so far so good here we go then so i'm going to start where's so i'm going to start with the border let's start with the border and i'm going to do it freehand because i don't mind if it's a little bit wavy and of course doing it freehand means that i've got chance for my pen to start to uh, go on yeah Chris I know what you mean about that 05 yeah it does feel a bit scratchy I'll try it again in a minute I'll see here we are so this it's great starting point isn't it it's going to get my pen flowing and starting it off there we are okay so let's just have a little look Yeah, it's nice and fine, but I'm not I'm not quite getting the same. I know we won't want to refer to white as a colour, but I'm not quite getting the same, but yeah. Oh, Wendy, no, that's not good. You've been waiting, it's been waiting for ages. Okay, I'm ready then. So, straight to my pen. I'm not going to start in the middle on purpose, but if you want to do that, that's absolutely fine. And again, I'm going to do this freehand, but of course, if you want to, you can uh, draw this as uh, lines with a, a straight edge, with a ruler, whatever you want to do. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, I'm going to do another one. Now, you notice as well that my pen, I've slowed down a little bit because trying to get the pen to flow, if you go a bit too quick, it doesn't you see, I'm aiming for different sizes or thicknesses. I want about 14, or as long as I've got an even number. So there's one, three, there's four, see, four spaces, and five, six. Seven. So again, don't worry about them all being the same size. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And I can split that one in two. Fourteen. Let's just check that. Okay. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. If you haven't got fourteen, you've only got twelve. That's great. But if you've only got uh, eleven, then you need to split one because these need to be an even amount. Okay. 
So, are we ready then? I'm just going to check actually. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, I've got an even amount on my sample, so absolutely. So, let's start sort of in the middle here. I'm going to just uh, bring a little bit of a, a wobbly shape around the middle there. This is going to be a great one actually. If you've got uh, your pastels, you'll be able to use them in a short while. I'm going to come in with the, the white pencil, but you could add a bit of colour. There you go. So it's got a bit of a shape in the middle there. So next thing then I'm, I want to do is, let's start with this wide one. I'm going to sort of do a, a curve inwards, like that. And then on the next one, I'm going to go a curve outwards. And then inwards. And then out. See where this is going? Then in. And out. You see how they're sort of curving and they're meeting each other as I'm going around. So this one, in. And then out. And again. So you're going to go in. And out. In. And out. And in and out where they join okay so we've got this really odd little shape there and it doesn't mean that they have got to be the same thickness either side it's just about having a little bit of fun and seeing where it goes but as you can see in context there it's not huge it's not covering the whole tile so let's do another and starting again from this one doesn't matter where of course i'm going to do um not too far away from that see that one's going in so let's do the same there Bit spider's web like. And out and in. Out and in. You see? So I'm going to follow this design. Keep going in and out. Come my way around. See? In and out. In and out. And during that one. do again so this time I could come a bit wider if I want. Oh Kath you're finally making your bag? That's great. I've uh, taken it back onto Sewing Street on the 21st actually. So if you think what's she on about? What bag? There you go. There you go. Just working my way around there. See and again it's all about joining with that last one. And again, so I'm going to start a little bit closer, start with that one, see that's outwards. So it, all of these are going out and all of these are going in. Get it in, and keep it going. There we are. So different thicknesses and as you can see they're going to sort of work some thicker than others and it because we've not gone in the middle it's going to sort of throw it off as well, which honestly, we want that anyway. And up. And again. Okay. And push it off. Now, yours are all going to be a little bit different to mine, of course. You might find that you've got space to do more of these. Or you might think, do you know what? I can't get enough in. It's okay too. You see when I get to the end, if it's going to go underneath, that's fine. Let's bring it back up here. And then along. Just keep going around. You see this is going out, so that's fine. It's going to go out there. Look, and it's going to come back in there. And I'm going to sort of lose it here. But then just this little bit there. Let's bring that back in. Okay. I think I'm going to just sort of have that little bit in there. Put this one along it in. Okay, maybe a little bit of one there too. So I've got the whole thing sort of filled in. Okay, so next little bit then. I'm going to choose one of the spaces, doesn't matter which. So I don't know, let's go. I'm going to go with this one. 
Um, let's go a bit bigger so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so let's go with this one. And I'm going to, from this middle one here, I'm going to put a couple of little lines in, little flicks, see little curves. And the same on this side. And then I'm going to leave a gap or leave a space. And then again, you see I'm following the curve, so they're going up. So mine are going up as well. And same on this side. So you see they're not too big. Just sort of giving it a bit of shape there. And I'm going to miss one. And I'm going to do the same thing. And this side too. Right, all slightly different thicknesses there. Okay, let's have a little look at that. There we go. So that's that first row. So then I'm going to move to the next set. But this time, I'm not going to do this one here. I'm going to come down one and put them in there. You see, because I'm in this one, and this is bending this way, so are my lines. So following the curves that are in there like that. Same this way. And then this one. This would be a really nice uh, thing to do. You know, if you've got the brush pens, you could use those and actually do a different colour in each one and use the fine liner end and colour it. And what would look really nice before you go in and put your shading in detail, actually I should have done that, is uh, you could spritz them with a little bit of water and let them sort of move just like watercolors do and then when they dry you could come back in and add the shading on that would look pretty cool if i get a chance this weekend i'll do it and uh, i'll post so you can see what i've done okay little flicks again little flicks there so you see it's sort of offsetting each time so i'll come now and I'm going to sort of do the, the one that's got the uh, empty space next to it. So, you know, offsetting each time. So that one I'm not going to touch because it's it's been done there. And this one that you're going to get just a little bit there. And then of course, turn it around again. So this time I am going to get that one. Can't really get much in the middle there. But as a work my way further down I can get some space going in there and the same that way see and there's the next one again try and follow the curves of the shapes you've done before if you can some of them are different it doesn't matter don't worry about it Now it's sort of uh, drawing you in. <laughs> oh, Richard, I know, yeah, you've got a boss now. <laughs> yeah, keeping you on your toes, I bet, isn't she? That's lovely. It'll be your anniversary soon. Goodness me, can you imagine? Almost a year. Well, it's not almost a year, but it comes around ever so quick. Actually, I think for John and I, I think it's, uh, I it's 24, 25 years this year. I've always put up with me for so long. Yeah, I've been with this mad woman. Yeah, we all have our crosses to bear, don't we? <laughs> there you go. So you can let loose a little bit and go a bit better with the, the larger ones. So the smaller ones are quite tricky to do and you've got to really control them. But then you get a little bit bigger. You can flick it up a bit more, can't you? Do you know what? Not that much. <laughs> Get carried away there. That's okay. There we are. And a few in there. And to that one there. And that one. It's starting to sort of give it a little bit of an illusion, isn't it? Just going to hopefully uh, push that a little bit more if we can. And, uh, 
see where it goes. Right. And back to this last one. And again, you know, if you were to do this in different colours, it looks quite nice. I'm definitely going to try the brush pen. The different colour fine lines. Because they're water-based, if you spritz them, they will move a little bit. So, uh, but now, let's just stick with the black. Well, it's grey and white. Okay, I'm going to come in now with my white chalk pencil. Again, if you want to use your pastels, then brilliant time to do it. Use your pastels. So let's go in a bit bigger. Now what I'm going to do is I'm not going to do anything at the minute where I've got these lines. I'm going to purely come in and add some on all of those spaces that we've left. And again, look, I'm not being too light with this. I'm putting plenty on. Okay. So... At the top, I can't really do too much, but as it gets further down, see, we can actually come in and add a bit more. Okay. So, work my way around. It's just going to be a little bit scruffy looking. That's fine. And every single one of those spaces, I'm going to fill with some white chalk. Don't be tempted to blow it away or move any bits of dust. Leave them and uh, keep it going. Okay. There we are. See, just sort of. Now here, I'm not really going to see much of it, so I'm just going to put a little hint of it there. Okay. And the next one. Oh, so you can definitely use colour in this if you've got the pastels. But today I've only got my white chalk pencil with me, so I'm not going to have colour on. I'm going to keep it monochrome, but honestly, go for it. So I'll use the different colour fine liners and do each of these sections in a different colour. That would look really nice. So I noticed there's a, a few of you that have uh, spotted the tickets for Stoke-on-Trent. I did say I was going to put them on there. I'm so looking forward to that. It's going to be great. I'm going to go on over there and do a, uh, some classes and workshops and uh, we'll get to meet together and we can ask questions and some tangling. It's going to be really good. I'm really looking forward to it. So, uh, if you've not seen that yet or... You're not too far away from Stoke-on-Trent and honestly, it's worth coming out for the day. It's a great time. It's like taking the classroom on the road. Uh -huh. All right, let's have a look then. We need a tortillon, preferably a clean one, but do you know what? I'm not going to worry too much because I'm going to change things anyway. So I've got my tortillon and uh, I'm going to soften everything out here. So let's start. I'm going to start with a, a large one so we see what I'm doing. Here we go. And what I'm going to do is work it out, pull it out a little bit, make sure that that's square there, that's important. Uh, Christy and I have booked to go to the NEC in March. So yes, I will be there. Now here, look, I'm going to make sure that that edge is straight as well. And I'm going to bring this one in. Again, making sure the edge is straight, bring it in a bit more and straighten it off. So where we normally have the highlight, now we've got the black section there because, of course, the white is giving us that shadow effect. But what we do want, you see where that line is? I want to keep that. There you go. See, so we've got sort of a, a line going up the middle, you see? At the top, it's going to be quite tricky because it's quite small. So as long as we've got an idea. So it might be worth you uh, sort of holding it so you can see what you're doing because you want to try and keep that line if you can sort of central it doesn't matter if it's not too bad it's a bit off it's fine there we go and there along we go see. see 
softening that off a bit. I want that straight on the edge though. Same here. So fill it out a bit and clean up the edges. There we go. It's not very often that we, we do a lot of shading with the white pencil, but it's a really, or the chalk pencil, it's a really powerful little tool. It really brings a piece of work to life. So even if you're on a lighter coloured tile, you know, you can put these white highlights in, but it really comes to its own on these dark sections. There you are. Of course, you wouldn't be able to do this with a regular pencil. It, uh, it wouldn't do the same thing. And for a start, you wouldn't be able to blend it with a tortillon. So. There we are, that looks in here, that just sort of works its way in. Push that out a bit. See, it's still fading out, but then you've got that black stripe in there. And then work our way in. It along. There we go. And just sort of work your way around. You don't really want to be putting your hand in this. You want to be sort of uh, keeping that out of the way. Because, you know, it'll still move a little bit if you rub your hand over it. Not as much as the regular pencil, but it's still there. And this next bit. Something I always say is always oh, something quite magical about working with a, a dark tile. It's almost because the darkness is already there, you, you're just bringing that light into it and creating something out of it. I think it's quite, quite therapeutic, this, quite unusual, but it just appears. You'll find Nadia in here somewhere as well. And all the gang. Yeah, a little kaleidoscope. That would be cool with all the different colours, wouldn't it? That would be nice. But hopefully I'm giving you some ideas and then over the weekend, when you've all got a bit of time, you can explore and experiment a little bit with it. Quite nice to see what uh, you come up with, and I don't know if they're wide, if these are even wider, or you get even more in. That'll change the feel of it as well. So you could perhaps go for uh, twenty spaces rather than fourteen, or try it with uh, just I don't know, just ten. See how that works as well. Okay, let's have a look at this. All right. So still needs a little bit of definition here. So let's uh, let's see what we're doing. I'm gonna come back in with my white pencil. And I'm gonna choose one sort of space. I think I'm gonna go with the ones that come outwards. You see where the curves curve like that? And I'm gonna do is go down the edge and add in some pencil down the whole edge. See, like that. Now look at the difference there. So let's ignore this one and see this one where I've got that similar curve shape. Let's put some white in there as well. Okay. Miss one. And then white down the edges. And then miss one. And then white down the edges. Now you see I'm actually on the inside of the line and I'm not trying to completely cover it but I'm going down the line now this one's quite a big piece isn't it so you can see that one quite clearly you see this one down the line along and this one 
this one. Duh, we've done those. Okay, I'm just gonna bring my torch on back in for a minute. Oh, hello, Leslie. You're saying wouldn't this be nice, Leslie, with different colors? Rather than just the white one. It'd be quite interesting to do, wouldn't it? Well, maybe you could, I don't know, add just a single color in. So you've got your dark tile and your white, but you add, I don't know, maybe just a hint of blue or something. I'm just softening this off just ever so slightly. I don't want it to detract too much from what's going on underneath, but it just needs to be sort of slightly softer. Oh, then give it a go. It's um, quite different. I know you can't always get the detail because your gel pens are a little bit thicker, but it's, uh, it really does give a different feel. Okay, see, I'm, I'm sort of hardly touching it up at the top end, I'm just softening it enough. There you are. Well, Leslie, have you recovered from Happy Valley then? <laughs> uh, you, you've seen all the, uh, the episodes now. See, I watched it each week and Leslie saved it all till she'd got everything. So I couldn't talk about it at work or anything in case we spoiled it for her. <laughs> oh, then, yeah, it does because. Uh, when you're shading on the, the black, there's no hiding place. Otherwise, you can rub it out. Okay, so that's this bit. All right, so I'm going to now come in with my regular pencil. Okay, what is this witchcraft, you might say? Regular pencil on black tile or grey. So looking at the bits, now see, this is where we've got the white with the bits that come over. See the bits that go under? I'm focusing on those now. And what I want to do is come in with my pencil. You notice it's sharp. Because what I want to do is come down that line. There you go. And let's just sort of pull out a little bit. There you go. It's got a line of graphite in there. You see why it's just shining a little bit on the, uh, on the lights. You see, there you go. There it is. And the same on the other side. Okay, you can come over that a little bit. Let's just pull out a bit so you can see that without the, you see? So then I'm, I've got the over bit where I did with my white. Let's go in a bit more. Oh, oh Rose, leave that with me, colour wheel. I'm sure I've got one somewhere that I've used before. Though you don't want to get too over complicated with it I'll uh, I'll sort one out there you go see so I've done the same there so let's have a look at that that's better without the light so where it's gone under I've got the dark lines then I've got the two white then I've got my two dark and then I've got the two white two dark there we go on there Okay. Don't be afraid to come out a little bit with it. Of course, if you haven't got much space, then don't overdo it. But if you've got quite a wide area, that's fine. Okay, so then it's that's the two white lines. So I'm going to come this side of it. My dark. Same here. Then the two white. Then the dark. You see, because this is a slightly bigger space, I can come out a bit more. Same with this one. Same with this one. And then we're back to there, so let's have a look at that. Okay, you see, I know it's a little bit shiny on camera, but there you go. Yeah, okay. Oh, Chris, about the, the colour wheel, it does need a bit of an explanation, I must admit. So what I'll do, I will sort one out. It might not be this weekend, but I'll sort one out and I'll put a little bit of instruction with it as well. I'll probably do it as a, uh, as a download or a PDF or something on the website so you can all access it. Okay, so what I'm doing now, I'm coming in where I've got that graphite 
and I'm softening it up, going along the piece there. Okay. So because I've put quite a bit on and it's going over the top of that white, it's moving quite easily. Not too much here, of course, because it's quite narrow. And then along here. again you see so it's all sort of just blending out so it's taking it a little bit of a hint of grey in those areas it's all about the shading there you go now I can blow it let's have a look at that you see almost done so what I do now is uh, I'm going to come in with my black pen my regular fine liner. Now we know if we try and draw on the chalk, it doesn't like it. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to draw on top of the pencil that I've just put on. I'm going to draw my line in. You see it's right on the edge of that white, but over the top of the pencil I've drawn on. See? So I'm going to work my way around along each of these lines now. Again, I'm not touching that chalk at all, although the chalk's blended in, so if it goes on a bit, don't worry. It's all about creating the, the slightly dark, or the darker I can go next to the white. Now, if you've got... Uh, your pastel's handy. You could have actually gone in, in this section here with a black pastel. That would look really nice because the, the black is so black and it blends lovely. It wouldn't give that sheen like the graphite does. So if you wanted a true black, then the pastels are the way to go there. my way around and uh, let's see where this takes us one more I think and then another I think I'm just gonna uh, have a look at that middle shape there it's gonna come on in and add a little bit of a wobble around it I think I'm gonna put some little dots in there just to uh, Break the harshness up in there. Yeah, more on one side than another, I think. There you go. Okay, let's have a look at that. Oh, Nadia, now it works, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, so here we go. So what we've... Let's just go out a little bit. If I just angle it slightly. So we've hopefully now, we've got something that looks a little bit more three-dimensional than if we were to just go with uh, just the white pencil alone. It gives you a little bit of an idea, doesn't it? Now you can keep building on top of that. You could say you could use black pastel in here, which will give it a, a slightly more black appearance rather than the graphite. You could add another layer of white. You could add different colors in each of these. And yeah. uh, yeah, Rose, you don't want to get choking, but to be honest, because this chalk's been softened out, the, the pen's not too bad on top of it. It's when it hasn't been, as long as it's all smoothed out. But yeah, I, I wouldn't as a rule. I would always do my black work before I've done my uh, my white chalk. So there you go. So we've got a bit of 3D going on there, and that's what we're aiming for, a little bit of that. So I can even come back in on those black lines, and let's just add a little bit of blackness in a second let's go in there there we go I'll do a bigger one just add a couple of little lines in there see just to really make it blacker in those sections so you won't get much in there there we go Just little eyes, but I'm not touching that white at all, just going in with the, the black there. Okay, so there we go. 
Let's go out a little bit more. You can see there, like you've got that little bit of darkness in the middle there. So we're getting that slight 3D effect. So with that in mind, I'm going to leave it there because I think that's enough to be going on with. The whole point of this one is was for the shading and you to have a go at just building it up a little bit. So I didn't want to make it too complicated because I wanted the shading to be the main thing out of it. So yeah, where well, you've got that slight bit of 3D. So I hope you've enjoyed this one. I hope it's something you're going to have a go at. And I say certainly over the weekend, I'll draw it in colour with the fine liners. I'm going to spritz it a bit with water, let it dry and then shade it and see how that looks. But uh, yeah, have a go with this one, have a bit of fun with it and enjoy. Try it with a different colour tile as well and see what that looks like. But uh, yeah, it's something to experiment with a little bit, isn't it? So have fun with it. Have a lovely weekend, everybody. And I will see you back here on Tuesday for another tile. All right. Take care then, everybody. Bye.